about uh, using a graphing calculator to find approximate solutions to equations. Anytime we're using technology this way, when we are going to be sometimes, usually they're going to be very good approximations. Uh, sometimes we will get exact answers, but in general, these are approximations, but oftentimes approximations are good enough. So we will be using the Desmos graphing calculator for this. Uh, although, let me pull my... Um, <clears throat> so we've got uh, a problem here. We want to use the graphing calculator to solve x times 5 to the x equals 4 minus x squared. This is an equation that we don't have any way to solve uh, other than uh, using the technology to approximate the solution. So my, uh, I want to remember my equation is x times 5 to the x equals 4 minus x squared. Jot that down on a piece of paper here. And then I'm going to come over to my graphing calculator and I'm going to type in um, y equals x times 5 to the x. Now to get the times I typed the asterisk and to get my exponent I typed the caret, the uh, symbol above the number 6 on the standard US keyboard. Um, you can also use the buttons down here. <clears throat> so this is the function y equals x times 5 to the x and remember x times 5 to the x was the left hand side of my equation. The right hand side of my equation was 4 minus x squared. So separately I'm going to graph y equals 4 minus x squared. <clears throat> so now I have these two equations graphed together and I want to look for when the x times 5 to the x equals 4 minus x squared and that's going to happen at intersection points. One nice thing about the Desmos graphing calculator is that it has the intersection points kind of, uh, it puts a gray dot on it. You can hover over it to see the coordinates. And if I click on that point, it'll turn those uh, more solid and keep them up there. So that is the intersection point. Uh, notice this is very close to the x-intercept. It it does the same thing for x-intercepts, but I want to make sure I click on the intersection point between these two graphs. So those are the coordinates of my intersection points. Now, um, what I want is the value of x that, pull this back over here, that makes this equation true. So what I want from the graph is the x-coordinates of my intersection points. So my solutions sorry, are going to be negative 2.019, now that's an approximation, uh, they just rounded to three decimal places, and the other solution is going to be 0 0.844. Now I can tell that this is going to keep getting closer to zero, this one's a parabola so it's going to continue going down and this one will go up and this one will go down. There won't be any more intersection points. Sometimes you might need to change your zoom in order to uh, get better or get a better view of the graph to make sure that you have all of your intersection points. But those are my uh, solutions. So we'll come back over and just show the answers. So there's no doubt the two solutions to this equation are x equals negative 2.019 and x equals 0 0.844.